guys. Today on Cars and Cameras, we're going old school. We are going to build a five horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine just like I would have built back in the day when John wasn't even a twinkle in his mother's eye. <laughs> I like to think of the Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower engine as the Honda clone of like the 1980s. Everyone had one on their go-kart. They were simple, they were cheap to modify. So we're gonna be building one and putting it on the Rat Rod Wagon. The Rat Rod Wagon runs perfectly. It's our old school Rat Rod inspired radio flyer go-kart we built from scratch. First things first, we're gonna take the wagon around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix to set down a lap time with the stock engine and we're gonna do a top speed run. Then with our built modified engine, we're gonna do the same and see how much uh, speed we pick up and how much faster it is around the lap. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. See, see, like every time. Here we go. Oh, it's got the oh boy. mess. It's messed up. Can't. We can't crank it out? Nope. Got to replace that. The starter's bad. I mean, it's been bad for a while, right? It's to the point where if it catches, it'll wrap up the rope and break the uh, starter and probably the cover and stuff. Well, let's fix it. That's a huge wasp nest, dude. Yeah, it's a big one. Thing should be spinning off by now. There we go. I think that's tight enough. All right, I'm taking this out. Yep, that's a good idea. Uh-oh. Oh dear. <laughs> nope. Hey, first pull. Maybe you just need a gap on your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> Sounds like it broke. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Dude! All these years! So we gotta fix it! That's honestly not that fast, but it looks fast. What's up, dude? 3763. Not bad. It, I mean, that's not very fast on our leaderboard at all, but it looked, it looked impressive for what it is. Yeah. I think we can totally beat it. There's no way you can beat me. What, so what was it? 3763. 3763, all yeah. right. Sounds good. All right. Are you marked? Get set, go! Tick tock, tick tock, buddy. Uh, 
No, I'm going to refuse and say that I won. You're just bad at timing. Really? Because you did win. You got a 35. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. What? Yeah, you did. So our laps are done. We ran a top speed of 26 miles an hour. We both thought it was faster than that, but 26 is all we saw today, so that's what we're going with. Now we need to choose an engine. So we started with like seven engines. We've already narrowed it down to two. We took the three newest engine out of the equation. We want to go as old as we can go here. And there wasn't, like before we made videos, Ike either brought out one of you, this, you know, you brought out one of your old engines. It was orange and it had a header like this and it was really, really, really smoky. It could be that one, it could be another orange one. Cause I've got another orange one. Yeah. But just, just in case, just in case we're gonna put this one to the side. So we're between these two. This one actually came off of my purple race card, the one that was a nine reason vinyl go kart and that now has a 200 cc uh, five speed engine on it. Uh, never got it running because I could never get the uh, clutch off. I didn't have a, a puller. So, but both of these that we have left uh, have clutches on them. So we're gonna soak them. We're gonna take flywheel pullers to them, or just pullers in general, and uh, try to get the clutches off. I said, oh my God. Uh, someone welded the clutch onto the crankshaft on this one. All right, let's check it out. Oh, hey. He sure did, dude. All right. Well, that really narrowed it down for us. Since this one's got this on it and this on it, she might have a cam in her. That's true. It yeah. might. So we ought to look. We ought to open this bad boy up and take a look inside. There you go. All right. Turn on this more. And that's pretty much all that's you're going to get at her. It's off. Nice. Big problem we have now is these. So the two Allens right there. Yep. Ah. Ooh. Man, I hope this thing's got a billet rod in it already. That would be cool. Sweet. Might not be anything in it. Ooh. Ooh. Never seen that color before. It actually doesn't look bad. Um, it's got a magnet on the end of it. That's, That's nice. nice. So we're starting by taking the carburetor and fuel tank off. Has all kinds of brackets that go to the carburetor to stabilize it. Ike says it's because it has a giant cam in it, right? It's got to be, man. <laughs> it's got to be. <laughs> and if y'all are uh, doing this for y'all selves, y'all should probably, as y'all take the bolts out, um, label them. This uh, piece of cardboard right here would be perfect if you had a pen. You can draw out little squares and let's say you put a couple of bolts inside that square and you label uh, chain. Engine cover, yeah, chain, chain cover. Chain cover. That's a good idea. Yeah. Finally. Woo. Carburetor's off. All the bolts are off. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got under here. Dude, it's already, uh, that's a newer piston. I'm betting that this is like 15 over. Ooh, bigger piston's good. Yeah. Dude, that looks good. Woo! Man? What's up? Is it a stroker? It might have a cam in or look at the lift on that. Let's let's compare it to uh Ooh, yeah, we have one right here. Well, no. No, no we uh what's... Yeah, we we can take a head off something in like 2 <laughs> seconds. So this one this one is probably factory. Yeah. And that one is probably <clears throat> cam. Let me uh let me see if I can find something to, to measure with. Yeah. So I can go in that deep. <laughs> I can't even and get it doesn't in there. Even... Dude. That's awesome. And this one's got a steel liner. It's sleeved. Yep. And and right here is not. And I just noticed something. It was smoothed it out. It was smoothed out. Yeah. This is a professionally built engine, dude. That's awesome. The gasket's fine. It's got a billet rod in it. Does it? <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Dude, this engine's already built. Yep. That's awesome. We don't even have to do anything to it. No, we just need to get it running. Time and marks are lined up. 
valves are shut, should be able to lift this out. There we go. Eww. A little rusty. You can see where they welded onto the... Oh, it's a homemade cam? I don't think so, though. Dude, the cam has definitely been modified to clear the uh, billet rod. I guess yeah, the billet was, rod comes around. That's insane. All right, let's compare it to a factory cam. Ooh. I think it broke. Wow. Why not just get another block? Maybe they had a lot of work in this. Has that been rubbing? That comes close to that valve. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. It's got a speed holes in it. Yeah. And right here we've got a performance rod right a here. A different type of... A different type right here. So this says 10755 Dyno. Anyone in the comments who can let us know anything about that, that'd be great. But you can clearly see how much taller the lobes are compared to a stock cam. Another interesting thing about this cam is I do believe they ground down this uh, inner piece probably for lightness. You know, because it's a good way to shave some weight off of this go-kart. I know, uh, on the rotating assembly nonetheless. Because yep. you can feel a difference. Yeah. This cam's a lot heavier than this one. All right, so we cleaned up the cam. We cleaned out the bottom of the engine. And uh, we went to the store to try to get a uh, gasket for this Briggs, but the... No the, one carries them. We went to a lawnmower shop. We were like, we need a side cover gasket <laughs> for a Briggs. And the dude was like, it's 115 years old. We don't have it. So what we're thinking now, since this engine is already built, we're going to build a Briggs for ourselves to see if it can outperform this one because we have all the parts to build one ourselves. Yeah. So then we're going to have... Who built Briggs? That's gonna be cool. Click. Click. That is awesome. Look at that lift, dude. Yeah, I know. It's so high. It's aggressive. Yeah. Dude, I want to hear this thing run. I know. I mean, we, we can pretty soon here. Man, I don't know if this carburetor is going to be, I don't know if it's going to work. I mean, the inside is just, I'm lubing it up because oh, okay. it's stuck. She's been modified. She's been, took the plug off the back and it looks like they uh, opened it up on the inside some. So since this tank's so nasty, we're just going to go ahead and take the carburetor off and see if we can clean it from the underside and uh, stick another tank we have on it and a bunch of parts that we just bought. So we took the carburetor apart, we cleaned it out some. Um, it really needs to be rebuilt, big surprise, but we're just kind of working with what we have. Um, so we're reinstalling it on this new, I say new, it's an old fuel tank that we got uh, from a buddy of ours. It's in better shape than the one that came off of this. So once we get the fuel tank carburetor on, we can mount it to the engine, and then uh, we just need to worry about exhaust, and that's pretty much it. So we were told this is a Raptor carburetor here, and this came in our box of uh, of goodies. Uh, goodies from our buddy here and we're just gonna try to throw it on the butterfly shaft is kind of worn out there's some play in it but I mean we're gonna give it a shot because what we have on this engine is clearly not working
I guess the rings are wore out. Yeah, that's too bad, man. Man, this one, this one really looked promising. I know. It really did. Uh, but we had carburetor issues, more carburetor issues, smoke issues. So we just went online and ordered some parts for our stinky built Briggs five horsepower engine, uh, just a carburetor rebuild kit, just some gaskets and stuff basically. Uh, piston rings also for a 15 overbore piston. So this rat rod wagon engine swap is gonna be put on hold. We'll see you when we have some parts.